morning guys, David of Pacific Coast PDR. I've got a crease on, a pretty big crease actually, on this Toyota Hybrid. And it's pretty sharp, but I wanted to show you my first glue pull on it. So let's have a look. I ended up using the crease killer feet and that crease killer tab with the Brazilian silicone base glue. My first pull was right in here. And if you can see that, it really reduced it down to just a minimal crease. And the tough part about these creases is trying not to get railroad tracks or stitches as it's called. Cause you're working this dent from a horizontal but then when you actually look at the dent with the vertical, you'll see your push marks. And you can see I'm gonna have to do a little bit of knocking down on that area that I lifted there. But if you can keep a crease clean and you see what that one pull did, it really reduced that crease. Um, this is a wide open dent. Up here it's in a brace, but the rest is wide open. And I'll keep pulling and seeing how it turns out to eliminate any texture or railroad tracks. So I just wanted to show you that. I really, really like those crease killer tabs. So if you guys don't have them, um, they've been out for a while now, get your hands on them. And those crease killer feet really pin down the metal and do a great job at pulling. Here's the second pull. And I'm gonna go through and do some knocking down on that. But I did want you to see, you see the difference between this and this? So that's like my fourth or fifth pull, but I really wanted to show you what these dead center crease tabs can do. It's, it's just amazing how it pulled it up. I'm gonna do some knockdown work on that, but it's min minimizing it to just the finest little crease that I can push out later. And being, a, if, if I wasn't pulling up this metal the way I am, which keeps it clean, that section right there would probably take about 50 pushes, that little section, um, to just, just to keep it clean. And that eliminates any of the pushes. So it's, it's really a no brainer um, just to pull the metal up if you can. And you see this is a sharp crease and the crease, the dead center crease tabs are making quick work of this. So can't help but share. Hope you guys are uh, staying busy out there. I'm gonna get back to work. So I've done about nine pulls, and let's have a look at it with the light or, or, uh, vertically. You see the little spots in between? And I can do some no knockdown work. I already did a little knockdown with the light horizontal, but now looking at it with the light vertical, I can do more knockdown work and then I'm gonna go through and glue pull out those lows in between the ones that I did. So probably another 10 pulls. And then at that point, we'll see where I'm at and I should be in there tooling. So back to work. Here was another big pull and just watch how it just peels off. Loving this jujitsu glue. There's three different colors. There's uh, the clear, the black, and the green. And I haven't figured out what the differences are. They're all silicone based, so they peel off. They all pull hard. Um, they do have a little bit of a different feel to them when you're holding the stick. And this one is a little stiffer and 
I'm guessing that it's more of a cold weather glue. That's what I've been testing it out and so far so good. So back to work. So one other thing, when you're knocking down, this is a horizontal crease and when I'm glue pulling, I've got to knock down that horizontal high. But one thing I want to point out is don't sit there and knock out that, don't knock down that high only horizontal. As you're working it, work it also with your vertical light because if you're only going to work it one way as you're knocking down, you can start making unwanted texture and stitch marks. And if you haven't even put a tool in the door yet, but your poor knockdown has made stitch marks, that's a problem. So make sure that as you're knocking down, you go from knocking down both vertical and horizontal back and forth until you get it down nice and clean. After 20 pulls, it really reduced this crease down to the bare minimum. Now I can go through and tool out the rest. All right, so I'm done with this repair. I've spent two hours on this crease, so let's have a look at it. So I told this customer we'd have it looking beautiful. And we've got it looking beautiful. You remember this thing was a sharp crease? And It is gone. Tools used. R14 by Dent Magic, Dent Reaper, and a, just an old school 3 45 bend to get in that braced area. Um, you guys seen the crease killer and uh, dead center crease tabs that I used to get the meat out on that. And we're off to the next spot. So thanks for hanging with me, guys. I tried to do this video like you were riding along with me. And I hope you learned something from it. Thanks. See you on the next one.